addition with carry the concept of carry in three digits let's try to add 98 and 27 we write the numbers one below the other to add up we write the place values we start from the units place 8 plus 7 is 15. We can make a group of 10 here. We put that in the tens place. What we have left is 5 units. We write those down. Then we add up the tens. 1 plus 9 plus 2 which is 10 plus 2 which is 12. 10 tens make a 100. We write that in the hundreds place. We are left with two tens which we write under the line. Since there aren't any other digits to add up to the hundreds, the hundreds number comes down as it is. That gives us the final answer which is 125. Let's try to add 142 and 359. We write the numbers one below the other to add up. We write the place values. We start from the units place. We add 2 and 9. We can make a group of 10 here. We put that in the tens place. What we have left is one unit. We write that down. Then we add up the tens. 1 plus 4 plus 5 is what we have to do. 10 tens make a 100. We write that in the hundreds place. We are left with no tens. So we write 0 under the line. Then we add up all the numbers in the hundreds place. That gives us the final answer which is 501. Now we cannot keep drawing beads all the time for addition. So let's try to see how to do it directly. Let's try to add 487 and 254. We are going to do it without using beads or any other pictures. We write the numbers one below the other to add up. We write the place values. We start from the units place. 7 plus 4 is 11. 11 has one ten and one unit. So we write 1 in the tens place and one in the units place under the line. Then we add up the tens. We have one ten plus eight tens plus five tens. That is fourteen tens. Fourteen tens is one hundred and four tens. So we write one hundred in the hundreds place and the four in the tens place under the line. Then we add up all the numbers in the hundreds place. That gives us the final answer which is 741. And we have done it without using pictures or anything else. That's just great. Let's try some more. Let's try to add 273 and 119. First, we write the numbers properly one below the other. Then we write in the place values. We add the digits in the units place. We write the carry and the number. Then we add the digit in the tens place. There is no carry, so we write the number. Then we add the digits in the hundreds place. That gives us the final answer which is 392. 
Let's try to add 484 and 439. First, we write the numbers properly, one below the other. Then, we write in the place values. We add the digits in the units place. We write the carry and the number. Then, we add the digits in the tens place. We write the carry and the number. Then, we add the digits in the hundreds place. That gives us the final answer which is 923. Let's try to add 357 and 185. First, we write the numbers properly, one below the other. Then, we write in the place values. We add the digits in the units place. We write the carry and the number. Then, we add the digits in the tens place. We write the carry and the number. Then we add the digits in the hundreds place. That gives us the final answer which is 542. Let's try to add 576 and 224. That gives us the final answer which is 800. Let's try to add 248 and 534. That gives us the final answer which is 782. Did you understand how to do addition with carry? Yes, that's great.